we have succeeded in raising awareness uh, and supporting local government structures and institutions in order to ensure food security and land rights for persons with disabilities. We are able project implemented in the five districts of Yumbe, Terego, Moyo, Nuoya and Omoro targets to address challenges of food security among persons living with disability and other vulnerable groups. The districts were selected on basis of historical events like the Konyu War, numbers and levels of poverty among disabled persons in those particular districts. Issues like the, the Konyu insurgents in, the, in northern Uganda, uh, during that time it caused a lot of disabilities but also the, le the levels of education in those areas. Through the project, persons with disability have been helped to participate in government projects, access financial services, have access to land to aid their participation in food production. The five-year project to end in December 2025 has been able to highlight the challenges facing persons with disabilities that make them even more vulnerable. In most cases, persons with disabilities are left out especially when it comes to giving out land by parents or relatives, especially customary land, persons with disabilities are looked at as they have no capacity to use their land. Through this program, about 3,000 people living with disabilities have benefited, mainly in the five districts. During the annual symposium on the review of the five years' achievements of the project, challenges that hinder PWDs from accessing services and participating in development were all highlighted. Most of the infrastructures we have, like public buildings, have already been constructed and they need to be broken for them to fit the accessibility standards of the country. When we look at the laws, they need to be amended in one way or the other. Philip Lokwang, the member of parliament Karenga East, says Uganda has fair laws that also align with SDG 1 and 2, but implementation is the problem. A call to action was made on policy reviews for inclusiveness, addressing issues of land ownership and negativity in cultures to enable PWDs participate in the food chain and address issues of malnutrition. Uh, while there has been um, an empowerment in the food availability and access, malnutrition rates remain uh, relatively uh, medium. In empowering PWDs, Minister of Agriculture has specific projects that cater and empower PWDs. In Parliament is also a review of the National Food and Nutrition Security Policy. The 30% that we've talked about here, like what I'm telling you about uh, the capacity building opportunities, those ones that I know that are completely uh, managed by the Minister of Agriculture, like the SEDP, some of you participated in SEDP. Susan Naung and Andrew Sebira reporting for ABC TV.